Well, for more on this, Farid Hafiz, a lecturer and researcher at the University of Salzburg, joins us now from Vienna. Thank you very much for joining us here on TRT. Well, so this looks like it is directed as Muslims and Sikhs and Jews won't be affected considering the outlines of the proposal. Doesn't this make the law discriminative? Absolutely, it is. And uh, nobody doubts it. Not even the legislator doubts it, right? So yesterday, uh, during the parliamentary debate, some MPs said, well, we will definitely uh, have to um, be aware that uh, this law is going to be challenged at the highest court, the constitutional court, and they are very much aware of it. Um, so I think that's really not uh, the issue that is contested here. Um, but there is, unfortunately, and that, that's the main reason uh, why this went through in, in the fir first hand, I think there is a large consensus, like even uh, the oppositional parties, uh, they signaled that there would be a chance that they could also vote for this law. The only reason the opposition parties did not do it, the majority of them, is because they said this is just a uh, um, too restrictive approach to the whole issue. It's the whole integration issue, the way they framed it, the government, they argued uh, it would need a much more comprehensive approach. Uh, while the right-wing uh, government in power, they very much focused solidly on this issue. So is the rest of Europe on board or would, do we see reaction from countries? Um, no, there are no reactions um, uh, up to now from other neighbouring countries. I mean, we also have to be aware that Germany uh, had a ban of the hijab, not for pupils, but for teachers. Uh, back in 2003, the first time. So um, there are some, I think, uh, um, experiences here and there in some European nation states that do not really bother about such an uh, Islamophobic uh, legislation. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for that, Farid Hafiz. Thank you.